Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Sethem and welcome back to another video guide for Our Survival Evolved. Today in this video, folks, I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know about taming a trike. The trike is one of the starting creatures that you will get in the game and it has quite a few functions. It is fairly tanky and it does have quite a few benefits with regards to getting it. So before we get into taming the trike, we're going to go through all the stuff that you will need in order to be able to effectively tame a trike. For this, you will need a saddle, and in terms of kibble, it likes the simple kibble, and if you have dodos, it is fairly easy to make. Uh, you can also use berries, it does prefer mejo berries or meho berries compared to all others, and in order to craft the saddle, you will be able to do that at level 16, and these are the resources you'll need to craft it. There is a level required for crafting the saddle. It can be crafted inside a smithy. So... Once you have all the bits that you need, of course you will also need either trank arrows or trank darts and a long neck rifle with the trank darts and a crossbow with the trank arrows. It's really up to you what you choose to use. That is my target right there. He seems to be slightly stuck behind the trees, but do not get fooled by that. So let's get into the taming part. Now... I do want to get that guy in the trees, he is a high level, but there's also another trike next to it. Do bear in mind, once I start shooting at that trike that I want to tame, it will aggro the other trikes around it. The best way of doing this is finding high ground where the trike cannot reach you. However way you choose to get to the high ground, it's really up to you. You want some sort of a cliffy area, it is the best, you do want the uh, advantage of having high ground. Make sure the area is clear. Now, naturally, the um, creatures like the Dillo that I have over here will not attack it, but it might attack you once you're trying to tame it and therefore hit the trike when it's down. So I've just got rid of it. I'm going to use this right here as high ground. I'm going to dismount and then start shooting and watch what happens when I start shooting the trike. For this, of course, I'm going to use the long neck rifle and the trank dart. It is somewhere in the trees right there. I'm going to make a guess as to where its body line is and try and aim for the body, not for the head. Because of its thrill and horns, it will take reduced damage and so therefore reduce torpor. And you do want to maximize the amount of torpor that you're putting into the trike. As you can see, the numbers are quite low when you do hit for the head. It is coming towards me, so I'm going to try and get the legs. Hopefully not hit the head. Whilst that guy's trying to get to me, the one that I want to trank out or knock out, I have aggroed his friend. So I'm going to try and take him out. It does help if you have some sort of a weapon or means to, of course, take out the other trikes. You did see two numbers when I was hitting the trike that I just killed. Some were larger than others. The smaller numbers, the smaller damage numbers meant that I was hitting the head, therefore it takes reduced damage. Because it cannot get to you, it will run off and run back to you. It is something that it will do, but watch what happens when it comes back because it's going into another herd of trikes. It's already started to aggro the other trikes, so this is why you want the high ground. They do also have a knockback when they hit you with uh, their horns, so do keep that in mind. I'm going to try and keep an eye out on my trike so I don't get them confused. There are two trikes trying to get at me on top of this guy. And I don't want to lose sight of them. Mine is slightly greener. I am not going to try and kill the other trikes whilst this is happening because I do not want to hit the trike that I'm actually trying to tame. It is a high level as well. As you can see, it is 145. Currently, it is stuck, so I'll take advantage of that. Now, the difference between the long neck rifle and the crossbow is that the long neck rifle, as you can see, does less damage and the torpor application is fairly instant. Whereas with the arrows off of the crossbow, it will do more damage and apply an initial amount of torpor and then some torpor over time. I'll try and land another one on it whilst it's running away. Hopefully, its torpor is not high enough to the point where it will want to permanently run away. Now it's turning towards me, so that is good enough. Once the trikes have a high enough torpor, they will want to run away. 
So do keep that in mind. Be ready to chase it down and knock it out permanently. It's somewhere around there. I'll figure that one out. There's only two trikes. I will get rid of these guys because they will complicate my life later on. Okay, so it's not coming towards me. Therefore, the torpor, as you can see, is fairly high. It has dropped down a tad bit. And that's because I was busy dealing with his friends. It has got enough torpor to still want to come towards me. Once it gets high enough, it will want to run away, which is what it's doing right now. So hopefully I can knock it out before it gets too far out of reach. Another difference between the long neck rifle and the... Okay, it's down. And the crossbow is that you will also have to calculate the fall on the arrow per crossbow. There is a dillo there, hoping to get rid of that. There we go. We don't want that hitting the trike. Once it's down, just go up to it and then guard it until it is hungry. If you are taming a high level trike, I recommend using the starving technique. And the way you do that is you wait for it to starve out. Keep placing in its inventory narcotics or narco berries. Both are just as good. Um, you will want to probably use an app that is amazing, and I recommend using Dodo Dex. It is an app that you can find for both Apple and uh, Android devices, and it will tell you how long you need to starve any creature in the game in order to tame it. It will also help you with breeding and all other sorts of stuff like that with regards to creatures in the game. Now, I know the area is fairly clear, so I did take a gamble right there and put the kibble in the trike's inventory. However, do bear in mind that uh, it prefers kibble to berries. If you're going to go with berries and you don't have the kibble, then you want to use the meho berries. Those are the purple ones, as that is what it prefers out of all of the berries. Of course, you can use the other berries, but it will take significantly longer for the trike to tame. And you will lose taming effectiveness because of that. So, obviously, with losing taming effectiveness means you will lose levels, which also affect the amount of points going into the trike stats. So what can you do with the trike once you have tamed it? Well, you place a saddle on it, and what's nice about the trike is when you dismount the trike, you will just stand on top of it. It does run fairly sluggish, but it does also have a charge mechanic, so if you press right-click, it will do that little uh, thing with its front legs, and then you just sprint, and as you can see, it does have a charge mechanic. That is very interesting. You can also charge at trees, and as you can see, it will gather thatch and wood in that order. And it does also gather berries, so this will probably be your first uh, gatherer of berries. Very, very good and effective way of doing it. You can use this instead of a parasaur because it has a larger AoE on its gathering ability, so it will gather more. Whereas with the parasaur, it will, of course, have you specifically aim at what you're trying to gather it does have a decent amount of hp and it also does have a decent amount of carry weight but i do suggest that you of course uh invest points in weight two other uses for the trikes are as follows it will have an aura around its head when it is close to a predator so that would normally be medium to large predators such as allosaurus rexes and so on it does help pretty much warn you that there is something dangerous nearby so very very good useful ability right there also with the trike it does have a knockback on its attack so that means you can effectively for example if you're being attacked by a rex you can kind of try and knock it back until you knock it off a cliff and out of danger i would not use this as a mount to attack anything it is a herbivore and herbivores tend to heal a lot slower than carnivores and its main purpose would be the ability to gather resources that is pretty much it for this video folks i do hope that you have enjoyed it and found it useful and informative if you have please do not forget to support me and the channel by hitting that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already for more similar content from myself and if you have just subscribed why not check out some of my other videos and guides here on this channel who knows you might just enjoy them also, for those interested, you can always find me on the Sethtopia Discord. Links to this, of course, you can find down below in the video's description, as well as in a pinned comment from myself. Until next time, stay safe, folks.